um, just a bit of an update. And um, before I start, I thought maybe I should introduce myself because I figured that not everybody's actually seen my live stream before. Uh, my name is Melikat, a proud owner of seven rescued and adopted cats here in Hong Kong. And uh, my channel, basically, I post weekly videos and live streams about how I raise, oops, how I raise my cats in like a tiny apartment. Um, and a, it's basically um, to inspire or to resonate with people who's about to or um, you know or already have uh, multi-cat households now just hold on you guys my phone is uh, my phone is falling hey wait 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 oh there goes my cat okay that was that was burrito and um i'll come back hey how's it hey lisa yo what a what a what a what a what a and in let me uh the crow yo wolfgang blue yo lisa um and I just want to say, like in this video, I just want to tell you guys um, that Buddy's tail wound just got a lot more complicated. It's got like, I don't know if you guys actually followed in terms of what happened to his tail. So when I found him in Malaysia, he was uh, he had a degloved tail. So basically the flesh was pulled off of his tail. Um, nine months gone by and still the tail would not fully heal. So it caused a lot of complications and the complications reach a point to, you know, having a lot of infections. He's been taking a lot of antibiotics. And so we got the last little bit amputated. So I get to keep this much of his tail by nine months and then about the this much got amputated and that wasn't the thing so that the i was afraid that he wasn't gonna get up you know from the anesthesia that was that's what scared me um but he did and that was for mother's day i know poor thing let me let me grab him let's see burrito buddy okay wait just hold on hey liam yo just hold on you guys give me two seconds let me let me grab burrito just hold on buddy Everyone wants to see you. I know. I know. I know. So he's a, okay, let me put my microphone back on. Okay, just hold on. Let me put my microphone back on. I think he's a little bit he's a little bit disgruntled. Not because he's in pain, it's because he's been a little bit mad at me today. Just hold on. Ha! There we go. Sorry about that. Okay. So Today, I had to take him to the vet. Look at his tail right now. It looks like a light bulb. It looks like a light bulb. So this side, it actually has a mesh on it that it can breathe fully, but the cat litter cannot fall inside. This was a design that we had on his tail. He doesn't want to be held because he thinks, he thinks I'm gonna like wash his wound again. He's a bit traumatized, but that's okay. So. Um, he bit off some of his stitches. I know he bit off some of his stitches, and this weekend was especially bad. Yes, Whoa. did you see that? Yeah, he does that when when he's scared. No, oh, buddy, there's nothing. There's nothing, to do. there's nothing to it. Okay, buddy, buddy, not every time I hold you is about changing bandages. Okay, I know. Okay, so what happened? Okay, I'll just show you. Was that he kicked off? he bit off his bandages hey hades what up he bit off his bandage and he start getting at his stitches and yeah that's him okay anyway so thank god um the vet actually had two layers of stitching like one was in an inside layer and then the other one was an outside layer so he actually picked up the outside layer i think he took like two or three stitches off and so as you can imagine the wound just like popped open because before if you imagine the stitches are kind of like holding something together like this yeah he is angry and then so when it pops open it just kind of goes like that well yeah he's a bit disgruntled so it popped open the first layer of stitching and it exposed the inside layer hey yo hey yo heidi what up um it does end um heidi you know for mother's day i i was at home taking care of this guy and I didn't get to sleep at all because he was hallucinating. And so 30 seconds of deep sleep, 30 seconds of jumping up and bite my face off. Um, I know. Anyway, happy Mother's Day to me, post Mother's Day. And then, so now his tail, that part is amputated, but because he's been picking at his stitches, um, it leads to further complications. And because Burrito freaks out when he wears uh, the cone of shame, and he'll end up falling off of tables and he will actually like land right on his tail. Um, 
And if I put him in the cage, it doesn't really help because he freaks out too. So he'll slam into stuff. And then the vet is like, oh, why can't you just leave his tail exposed? I'm like, um, no, it would vent, it would air out quite well, but he's just going to sit on his like own cat litter and his own shit. Um, I don't think that's very good in terms of keeping the wound clean. Um, I'm surprised if vet actually asked me that. I know. But anyway, so I designed the cone to go on his tail. That looks more like a light bulb. And uh, thank God he did pop the second layer of stitching. Here, buddy. Buddy. Oh, say hi to Heidi. Say hi to Heidi. Okay. I know. Oh, the, yeah. There's that's, a, that's Blue Cat. That's the one that hates me. Hey, buddy. But ever notice Buddy changed colors? When he was small, he's this color. He's beige. But now when he's older, he's like silver. He's a silver meow. You're a silver meow. I know. Look at him. Look at him. But he's getting a lot better um, because the bad part of the tail was cut off already. And thank God there were like no nerve damages or anything. Oh, I was so scared about that. And now it's just about him being on probably the last set of antibiotics i feel really bad because he's only like 10 months old and he's had like six courses of antibiotics in his life if not seven i know buddy buddy but that's what we have to do right that's what we have to do you're trying your best to look for it to look for what like in like in the message liam i don't know what you're talking about and i'm sure he loves you too yay the crow look so tonight i have to make sure that this thing doesn't fall off which i don't think it will it's been quite well taped onto his butt from multiple angles That's sedatives when he's sorry oh no well for buddy you can't put him on sedatives because it's such a long uh, recovery process why you take it why you take your frustration out on me yeah okay all right okay all right do you want to do you want to bite mommy do you want to bite mommy a little bit that makes you feel better English voice acting class in Hong Kong they don't have it English voice acting that's that's niche I'm not sure if you can actually find that here Chinese ones you can but English I'm not so sure but anyway, see, look at Buddy's becoming so big now. He's so big. He's just huge right now. This guy is just really big. So I'm, I don't know, because it's a very busy week for me. Um, I'm just going to be in and inside, um, basically, like, the house in and out tomorrow, off Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, kind of in and out. He is a, he is a beautiful cat with some uh, emotional eating problems, I think. Because when he was a kid, uh, when he's having hardships, I would used to lure him with snacks. So now he's got an ability to snack even when they're washing his wounds, even when they're like, you know, swapping like samples of, from his wound. And he's, he, yeah, he can still eat. But the only thing is after I change his bandage uh, or when, after he's in pain, he goes straight for the food dish. That's exactly, actually, that's exactly what he's doing right now. Let me show you. That's exactly what he, he is doing. Look, he's doing that just now. Emotional eating. That's another thing that I have to do after he recovers fully is to uh, wean him from the emotional eating and also um, to disassociate that growl, that growling sound that he makes. Because now when I hold him, he sometimes thinks that I'm going to change his bandage. So he freaks out, but I'm really not. Um, and also I have to bring him more on leisurely trips so that it's not going to the vet all the time because the last, I don't know, eight or 10 times that we went out, uh, in the past, why is my light flickering in the last, uh, few weeks, it's all to the vet. So he's starting, so he's starting to associate it with, uh, you know, bad experiences. But before that sets in, I think I'll, uh, I, I hope I have some time to actually make it right. But I think I should be okay. And, um, yeah, that's it. I just want to tell you guys, um, gosh, buddy, it's taking forever. Not to mention this vet bill is really building up. It's crazy. Like even today, I just bought him back uh, just to like look at his wound. That bill is like almost 200 bucks US. Yeah, just like that. Crazy. I know. It's expensive, but...
Mommy's got to hustle. Well, anyway, yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys that it's been a while since I've seen you guys. I'm getting back in the groove of po posting one video a week, doing two lives uh, a week. Um, and uh, I'll try to do it in like kind of varied time so I can catch some of you guys. Um, yeah, but I'm going to get going now because I got an early event tomorrow. Yeah, so I got to hustle, got to make some of that money back from the vet bill. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll post more videos that's updating about uh, my cats, you know, how I raise them. Hopefully, as I mentioned in the beginning, it can inspire or resonate more with people who are about to or already have a bunch of cats. So that's why I named my channel, you know, Small Flat 7 Cats. <laughs> what do you guys think about that name anyway? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get going now. I still, I still haven't washed my hair. I still kind of, I'm, I'm really sticky icky from the gym. Anyway, good seeing you guys. Good seeing you, Liam, um, Hades, JB, um, Heidi, yeah, The Crow. It's good seeing you. So, yeah, and Wolfgang Blue. So, I'll see you guys around. Have a good weekend because it's Sunday night here. And for you guys, that's in North America.